Welcome to my course on Genome Editing and Engineering. We are discussing about engineered immune cells for cancer therapy. Uh, this is the lecture number 2 of this uh, particular topic. So, let us begin today's discussion with CAR T cell based adoptive immunotherapeutics. Cytotoxic T cells play a key role in anti tumor immunity and due to impaired recognition of uh, CTLs to tumor cells lead to immune evasion. Hence, regaining the ability of targeted recognition is critical for targeted immunotherapy. Tumor specific T cells that are naturally present in patients with malignancies are relatively low and their function is impaired which makes it difficult for T cell based adoptive transfer. In addition to new antigen specific T cell receptors, genetically modified patient derived T cells bearing chimeric antigen receptors can be generated as therapeutic cellular products with a high tumor specificity. Uh, chimeric antigen receptors are genetically modified receptors introduced and expressed in human T cells for targeting the surface antigens of tumor cells in their native conformation. And this is done by uh, conventional genetic engineering methods as well as the developing genome editing uh, technologies. They can be subjected to ex vivo expansion and clinically administered via adoptive transfer to patients. Uh, CAR T cells is a chimera of binder domain typically derived from an antibody with T cell derived transmembrane and intracellular signaling domains. We will uh, once again discuss this uh, when we saw the diagram for these CAR T cells. CARs harness the exquisite MAC dependent independent binding specificity of antibodies to activate T cells via TCR and co-stimulatory signaling domains. Affinity tuning of binder domains and selection of signaling domains are important considerations in CAR T cell therapy. High affinity binder domains prevent tumor escape by antigen low cancer cells whereas low affinity domains confer increased cytotoxicity and proliferation and can spare normal cells expressing physiological levels of target antigen. CARs bind their antigens directly and are not limited to the proteome but expand to other macromolecules such as glycans which can differ markedly between normal and tumor cells. However, unlike TCR T cells, only surface accessible or secreted antigens can act as targets for CARs. This is a picture of a chimeric antigen uh, receptor uh, structure. Uh, CARs are composed of a membrane distal single chain variable uh, fragment SCFV, a spacer domain a transmembrane domain and intracellular uh, activation uh, or signaling domain. In contrast to TCR, CARs uh, recognize surface antigens in a non-MSC manner. TCR identifies intracellular or extracellular proteins that are presented as peptides by MSC uh, molecules. CAR T cells are typically produced by transducing T lymphocytes with a transient encoding a synthetic antigen receptor. This transient uh, is integrated into the T cell genome transcribed and translated into a CAR protein. So, you can see this uh, transient and this is the uh, CAR T cell to which this gene is uh, transferred and uh, you can see the translated uh, product on the right. The binding and signaling domains uh, separated into extracellular and intracellular compartments uh, respectively. The extracellular SCFB domain uh, is uh, derived from the uh, variable region uh, of an antibody that recognizes specific tumor antigens together with a spacer that provides flexibility uh, to the binding domain. The transmembrane domain connects the binding domain with intracellular signaling moieties. The TCR uh, derived CD3 zeta chain drives T cell activation and is uh, fused in tandem with co-stimulatory uh, endodomains that allow for robust and sustained uh, functions. The extracellular single chain variable fragments works for antibody like antigen recognition and intracellular signaling domains for activating T cells. In CAR T cells, the extracellular domain SCFV is responsible for redirecting the specificity of CTLs to the malignant cells and can be designed according to specific antigens such as CD19 expressed in B cell acute lymphomite leukemia, 
chronic lymphocyte leukemia and lymphoma. Car intracellular signaling domains provide the necessary signals for priming T cell activation. In the CAR T cell mediated immune response, the SCFV of CARs can engage surface antigens of tumors directly via antibody like binding. The heavy scene variable region and light scene variable region of antibodies are linked by a small segment of polypeptide. The hinge domain is composed of immunoglobulin superfamily members such as CD8, CD28 or IgG which plays a role in signal transduction. The intercellular signal transaction region is mainly composed of the CD3 cheta chain of the TCA. In addition to intracellular signaling domains, co-stimulatory molecules such as CD28 to 41BB can improve cell proliferation and survival time in vivo and enhance the anti-tumor activity of CAR T cells. When CAR T cells bind to tumor surface antigen, they proliferate and, cumor and kill uh, tumor cells. Let us now discuss about the intracellular signaling domains and generations. The activation of T cells mediated by first generation CARs is accomplished through the tyrosine activation motif on the three CD3 zeta chain of the FCR gamma. The CD3 zeta chain uh, can provide signals for T cell activation and target cell lysis, regulation of IL2 secretion and anti-tumor activity in vivo. How the anti-tumor activity of first generation CAR modified T cells is limited in vivo and this decreased T cell proliferation ultimately leads to the T cell apoptosis. Second generation CARs incorporate an additional co-stimulatory signal which amplifies the original signal one derived from the TCR CD3 complex and increases T cell proliferation and cytokine secretion promoting the secretion of anti-apoptotic proteins. A commonly used co-stimulatory molecule is CD28 or CD137. To further improve the design of cars, third generation cars were developed which include not only the CD3 zeta and uh, one co-stimulatory domain but also an additional co-stimulatory signal. Based on this second or third generation cars, fourth generation CAR T cells co-express some key cytokines or co-stimulatory ligands such as IL-12, 15 and 7 or suicide genes which significantly enhance the expansion activity of T cells. The fifth generation CAR T cells uh, has been proposed to uh, knock out the human leukocyte antigen and TCA genes of T cells obtained from healthy donors by gene editing uh, to avoid host immune rejection of graft versus host disease against transplanted CAR T cells. As it does not need to be modified according to the patient, this strategy can be used for the treatment of uh, multiple uh, patients. Summary of CAR T cell uh, generations. Uh, so, you can see here the first generation, the second generation, third, fourth and uh, uh, fifth generation and you can see the various uh, domains uh, being added up uh, with each generation and uh, at last also uh, you can see the fifth uh, uh, generation uh, which is being done with the help of uh, genome editing. So in brief the first generation of cars contain only a CD3 zeta as well as a well documented intracellular uh, signaling domain. Second, third generation of CARs involve one or two co-stimulatory molecules in addition to three uh, to CD3 zeta respectively. As well, the fourth generation of CAR T cells strongly motivates the downstream transcription factor uh, to promote uh, uh, factor to prompt cytokine generation following interrelation between CAR and target antigen. Uh, the genome editing technologies such as uh, CRISPR-Cas9 have been widely used to construct uh, track TCR deficient CAR T cells establishing fifth generation of uh, CAR T cells. CAR T cell manufacturing by genome editing. Uh, many current CAR T cell manufacturing protocols involves ex vivo autologous T cell expansions followed by transduction with a viral vector containing the chimeric receptor uh, sequence. Lentiviral transduction and integration is stable and considered generally safe for clinical trials and FDA approved treatments. However, there are possible risk for malignant transformation of engineered CAR T cells via insertional mutagenesis for tumor suppressor genes or oncogenes. Lentiviruses integrate semi-randomly in the genome. The CAR transient can insert in sites with high or low relatively transcriptional activity, leading to variable cell surface CAR expression, generating a suboptimal therapeutic product. Placing the CAR transient under control of a strong exogenous promoter may also lead to high constitutive receptor expression. Elevated surface expression and interaction with other CAR receptors 
can generate ligand independent tonic signaling in the absence of exosonous uh, signals. Tonic signaling induces both systematic production of cytokines as well as cell profile that drives rapid transition to poor effector functions and T cell exhaustion. Genome editing tools can replace viral lentiviral transduction to eliminate the problems associated with it. CRISPR-Cas9 can be used to deliver CAR encoding DNA cassettes uh, to a specific genomic location allowing for targeted knocking of the CAR into desired sites. Uh, for example, an anti-CD19 CAR can be directed to the T cell receptor alpha constant track locus resulting in uniform CAR expression, reduced tonic signaling, decreased exhaustion and increased anti-tumor uh, efficacy. Let us examine the strategy of CAR T cell uh, immunotherapy. So, here you can see the uh, patients and uh, from this patient uh, T cells are isolated and these are the endogenous TCRs on these T cells and there is uh, gene transfer. Then we have these uh, CAR, CAR T cells where you can see the CAR chimeric antigen uh, receptor and this can uh, be subjected to uh, genome editing after which the cells are expanded or proliferated and then transferred back into the patients or the process of adoptive transfer. So, peripheral blood T cells isolated from a patient with hematological malignancy uh, is subjected to genetic modification with a relevant CAR that can target the surface antigens of malignant cells. Subsequently, the CAR modified T cells are subjected to ex vivo expansion and then administered via adoptive transfer to the patients as already described. Tumor cells are recognized and killed by CAR T cells in an HLA independent uh, manner. Anti-tumor immunity can be enhanced and uh, optimized. So, here is the uh, tumor cell and this is the uh, CAR T cell and this cell uh, will be killing this uh, tumor cell uh, in an HLA independent manner. Anti-tumor immunity can be enhanced and optimized through genome editing such as Talon, ZFN or CRISPR, Cas9 and other gene transfer or editing uh, technologies. Uh, common surface antigen targets uh, for CAR T cells uh, therapy. Some of the most uh, commonly used targets for CAR T uh, therapy are surface antigens that has been used uh, in clinical studies uh, as listed below. Uh, uh, we have here the surface antigen corresponding to a particular uh, cancer type. For example, CA uh, present in colorectal adenocarcinoma, uh, fibroblast activation protein found in malignant pleural uh, mesothelioma, uh, digangliocyte ZD2 in uh, neuroblastoma, glioblastoma, melanoma, uh, osteosarcoma. Uh, HER2 is found in HER2 positive sarcoma, uh, mesothelin in pancreatic cancer, IL-13 receptor alpha glioma, mutant alpha V uh, beta 6 intergene pancreatic tumors, epidermal uh, growth factor receptor lung cancer and uh, breast cancer. Let us now look into the other targets of uh, CAR T therapy. TCA engineered T cells always tar target the PHLA complex. However, uh, the PHLA complex can also be recognized by uh, CAR T cells whose uh, SCFB for binding was delivered from a TCA like antibody. Puli et al. generated Epstein Barr virus specific T cells to recognize ZD2 and infuse these, these ZD2 CAR T cells into patients to, tear, uh, to treat uh, neuroblastoma uh, which exhibited moderate anti-neuroblastoma activity. HER2 is thought to be an ideal target for cancer therapy and many strategies have targeted HER2 to successfully treat breast cancer, gastric cancer and other tumors. Uh, Morgan et al. reported that the infusion of HER2 CAR T cells to treat metastatic colon cancer caused severe adverse effects likely due to the large number of third generation CAR T cells used and on target of tumor toxicity. The meticulous uh, redesign of the clinical strategies used including the splitting of the HER2 CAR T cells infusion, the use of a second generation CAR construct with severe SCFBs and a reduction in the total number of CAR T cells effectively improves safety while maintaining anti-tumor uh, efficacy. CAR T cell treatment has uh, supported 
uh, appreciated attainment to treat hematological malignancies including lymphoma, uh, chronic lymphatic uh, leukemia and acute lymphoblastic uh, leukemia. CARs deliver a wider area of functional impacts than uh, transduced TCS, however CARs and TCS uh, have their uh, onset of advantages and disadvantages. Although the flexibility and dynamic range of CARs are striking, existing CARs are restricted to uh, identify cell surface antigens while TCS identify both cell surface and intracellular proteins. Nonetheless, antigen processing and presentation of HLA are not required for CARs making them more applicable than TCS to HLA diverse patient uh, populations. There are two primary distinctions between TCS and CARs that lead to major differences in their function. Firstly, TCS target peptide molecules uh, that are bound to MSC molecules expressed on the surface of cells while CARs target cell surface molecules independent of MSC binding. Secondly, CARs possess all of the molecules required for antigen binding and T-cell activation whereas TCS are only able to bind to MSC molecules to relay the first signal of uh, T-cell activation meaning that secondary and tertiary signaling is required for T-cell activation after the TCR initially binds to antigen. What are the challenges in uh, ACT? The potency of CAR and TCR therapies using autologous engineered uh, T-cells have been well demonstrated by the clinical outcome from the new York esophageal squamous cell carcinoma TCR and CD19 CAR T cell. Despite impressive clinical results, plenty of patients are unable to benefit from T cell therapy due to several reasons. First, the personalized approach of manifesting T cells is time consuming and costly, which impedes many patients, especially with rapidly progressive diseases, to make the most of this immunotherapy. Second, during the production process, it is hard to generate enough high quality T cells from lymphopenic patients in poor condition. Even if patients get enough immune cells, these cells may fail to complete the whole manufacturing process. Moreover, the risk of manufacturing T cells is always there. A patient with B cell leukemia was reported relapsing 9 months after receiving anti CD19 CAR T cell infusion due to unintentionally transduction of carrying into a single leukemic uh, B cell as reported by Ruella et al in 2018. Finally, heterogeneity among autologous CAR T products contributes to unpredictable and variable clinical uh, activity. Let us now discuss about another important topic which is tumor antigen escape. Normally, T cells expressing two or more independent CAR molecules have more effective anti-tumor functions than those of T cells expressing a single CAR molecule. However, the difference is that T cells can be equipped with two or more CARs that recognize a different TAAs. Antigen escape remains a major mechanism of relapse and is a key barrier for expanding the use of CAR T cells towards solid cancers with their more diverse surface antigen repertories. For some malignancies, it can be difficult to determine whether CAR T cell therapy against a specific combination of TAs is safe and effective. Potential methods for overcoming this challenge include enabling CAR T cells to specifically recognize multiple antigens and respond to lower levels of target cell uh, antigens. Low levels of infiltration into tumor tissue compared to hematological malignancies, solid tumor CAR T cell therapy is limited by the ability of CAR T cells to traffic to and infiltrate uh, solid tumors. The immunosuppressive tumor microenvironment and uh, physical tumor barriers such as the tumor stroma limit the penetration and mobility of CAR T cells. One strategy to ameliorate those limitations is through the utilization of delivery routes other than systemic delivery as local administration. One eliminates the need for CAR T cells to traffic to disease sites, two limits on target of uh, of tumor toxicities as the CAR T cells on target activity is directed on tumor cells minimizing interaction with normal tissues. CAR T cell associated uh, toxicities. The toxicities underlying CAR T cell therapy have been most extensively characterized in patients in the first FDA approved CAR T cell therapy CD19 directed CARs. 20 to 46 percent of patients displayed severe uh, supraphysiologic cytokine production and massive in vivo T cell expansion. These toxic levels of systemic cytokine release and severe immune cell cross activation in some patients result in the following toxicities, a cytokine release syndrome that is associated with supraphysiologic cytokine production and massive in vivo T cell expansion. 
second uh, hemophagocytic uh, lymphohistiocytosis and or macrophage activation syndrome that is a severe hyperinflammatory syndrome characterized by CRS and combinations of elevated serum ferritin and hemophagocytosis renal failure, liver enzymes. Uh, splenomegaly, pulmonary edema and or absence of NK cell activity. Immune effector cell associated neurotoxicity syndrome or ICANS that is elevated uh, cerebrospinal fluid cytotoxin levels and blood brain barrier uh, disruption. Strategies to overcome uh, challenges to overcome the barriers of uh, limiting wide application of CAR, T, CAR cell therapy multiple strategies have been developed. One of the most feasible and durable approaches is to generate allogenic uh, universal CAR T cells from healthy donors. Compared with autologous CAR T cells of the self, allogenic CAR T cells have many potential advantages including immediate availability of cryopreserved CAR T cells for patients in urgent need, enough quantity for first infusion or redosing and possible standardization of CAR T cells. Uh, producing. Whereas considering the presence of endogenous HLA and TCR on donors T cell uh, T lymphocytes, the biggest challenges of universal product is the potential risk of allo reactivity and graft versus host disease. Genome editing has been widely used to generate off the self allogenic CAR T cells that removes allo reactivity and to address other limitations associated with immunotherapy strategies like uh, TCR T cell uh, therapy. Thank you for your patient hearing, we will be continuing this uh, discussion in part B of this lecture. Mm -hmm.